This is one of Webb's early deep dives into the cosmos. 250 hours of exposures that expand the imagination. And all these little dots are stars? All these little dots are galaxies, uh, some of which are bigger than our own. Astrophysicist Brent Robertson flew us through 130,000 galaxies, half never seen before, enormous swirls of billions of stars each, some like our own Milky Way, and others, well, out of this world. Just a hundred years ago, our understanding of the universe was astonishingly limited. Most astronomers believed that everything, the stars, the planets, the cosmos itself, was confined to our own Milky Way galaxy. But in 1928, that illusion shattered. Edwin Hubble, through meticulous observations, revealed something extraordinary. The universe wasn't static, it was expanding. That revelation forever changed our view of the cosmos. Then, in 1997, the Hubble Space Telescope made an even more stunning discovery. Not only is the universe expanding, it's accelerating, driven by a mysterious force we now call dark energy. This changed everything, leading to the widely accepted estimate the universe is 13.8 billion years old. But now, that number is being questioned. Inside our own Milky Way lies a cosmic riddle, M92, a densely packed cluster of ancient stars. It's believed to be nearly 13.8 billion years old, as old as the universe itself. Some estimates even suggest it could be older. How is that possible? Stars, by all we understand, can be older than the universe, yet M92 challenges everything. Using cutting-edge simulations, over 20,000 synthetic star populations, astronomers recalculated the cluster's age. The results? Too close to the beginning of time for comfort. Have we been wrong about the timeline of the universe all along? Enter the James Webb Space Telescope, the most powerful eye ever cast into the cosmos. It has looked deeper than any telescope before, uncovering galaxies just 300 million years after the Big Bang. But here's the twist. These galaxies are too big, too structured, too mature. They shouldn't exist that early in cosmic history. Could the universe be older than we think? This paradox, combined with the mystery of M92, has sparked a radical new hypothesis. What if the universe isn't 13.8 billion years old, but 26.7 billion? A recent study proposes that our current models of cosmic expansion and early galaxy formation may be flawed, fundamentally flawed. And there's more. Consider the enigmatic Methuselah star. Its age estimated at 14.5 billion years, nearly a billion years older than the universe itself, according to current models. How can this be? Stars follow predictable lifespans based on physics we understand, but Methuselah seems to defy time itself. If you're passionate about space and want to stay updated on the latest cosmic discoveries, make sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and tap the notification bell so you never miss a new upload. At the heart of this mystery lies one crucial number, the Hubble constant. This value defines the rate at which the universe is expanding. But here's the problem. It won't agree with itself. This discrepancy, known as the Hubble tension, has left scientists puzzled. If we can't determine how fast the universe is expanding, how can we know how old it really is? Could the answer lie in physics we haven't yet discovered? Could dark energy or even unknown forces be rewriting the cosmic script? One of Webb's most jaw-dropping discoveries is its glimpse into the universe's so-called Dark Ages, the period before the first stars ignited. And yet, Webb has found fully formed galaxies just 300 million years post-Big Bang. They're not supposed to be there. To exist so early, they would have needed billions of years. So. Are they leftovers from an earlier universe? Some scientists now entertain an even more radical idea, the multiverse. 
What if our universe is just one of many, each with its own timeline, its own rules, its own beginning? In this model, anomalies like Methuselah or ancient galaxies make sense. They may be echoes from other realities. Could the James Webb Telescope be peering across dimensions? And as we question the Big Bang itself, an ancient theory is making a comeback. The cyclic universe, a cosmos that expands and contracts in infinite cycles of birth and death. Are the ancient galaxies Webb sees not from the beginning of this universe, but remnants of the last one? Another enigma, primordial black holes. These incredibly dense objects may have formed just moments after the Big Bang. Some scientists believe they acted as cosmic seeds, accelerating galaxy formation. If true, they may hold the key to reconciling Webb's discoveries. But their existence also begs the question, what else about the universe's early moments are we missing? Even dark energy may not be constant. New studies suggest it could be evolving, changing the universe's expansion rate over time. If true, this could explain both the rapid formation of galaxies and the chaos in our timeline models. Zooming in further, quantum physics adds another layer. At the smallest scales, time behaves strangely. Could quantum fluctuations in the early universe have changed how time itself unfolded? Could galaxies form faster because time flowed differently? The James Webb Space Telescope hasn't just deepened our vision of space. It's challenged the foundation of modern cosmology. Ancient stars, impossible galaxies, clashing measurements, the cracks in the story are growing. Maybe we've been asking the wrong questions. What if the universe isn't 13.8 billion years old? What if it's 26.7 billion or even timeless? What if this universe is just one chapter in an infinite multiversal epic? One thing is certain, the James Webb Telescope is more than an instrument. It's a time traveler, a storyteller, and a key to the secrets of existence. With every image it returns, it urges us to dream bigger, question deeper, and embrace the unknown. What do you think? Are we standing on the edge of a cosmic revolution? Like and share. Subscribe for more journeys into the mysteries of the universe. The cosmos is speaking. Are we ready to listen?